hopefully you can see now with more light hitting the sensor it's changed onto the day display which does look really nice actually we see the uh, the battery here 55 percent the sits uh, the sits two batteries inside here which uh, are quite common and easy to buy and replace I believe right well let's plug it plug it into the amplifier and uh, we'll see what happens next so let's try it with the amplifier on we'll uh, turn the meter on and you'll notice it starts at 15 watts and uh, as it senses more power going in it'll adjust accordingly and now we've just gone to on the daylight i think this is one of the nicer screens actually so uh amplifier is tuned up it's uh, very very quiet on the band it's uh, quarter past 10 friday morning this is my switching power supply which i normally turn off but uh i'm only making a video but it's so quiet on the band really uh, okay, I've already checked the frequency, nobody's here, the amp's tuned in, so uh, let's see what it says. Test, 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 is the frequency occupied from Papa Alpha 1? Okay, okay, we'll turn uh, this down a bit, we don't need this. So let's have a see what's going on here. Papa Alpha 1, Lima Echo Golf. Papa Alpha 1, Lima Echo Golf, uh, and I think we can see here the display is saying 440, and here it's maximum around 100, which uh, isn't very good at all. Uh, especially when it says here one thing, and here it says completely other. You can see the SWR, very easy to see. Uh, there it did 220 peaks, but still nowhere near, nowhere near the, the 3, 400 it's showing here. Now it's uh, still at 220. And then it goes back. And then we're all again 92. Back here, uh, 400 or so. And uh, that's a problem. It just doesn't seem to represent uh, what the am amplifier is kicking out. No problems with the SWR side of things. And uh, let's have a look. That's with the radio on 32% which is uh, not many watts at all. So we'll just try it again. Papa Alpha 1, Lima Echo Golf. Papa Alpha 1, Lima Echo Golf. And you can see the meter's gone on to 1500 here. It sensed it and uh, yeah, not doing a lot at all regarding, uh, show me what the amplifier's kicking out. Yeah, and that's why I think it's gonna have to go back uh, today. They are, around between 360 and 410 euros i've seen these meters advertised at on, uh, on alibaba some uh, chinese websites some english websites some dutch websites they always seem to be around that uh, around 370 averaging well that's uh, my quick video and i hope it's been useful to somebody Maybe they find uh, this is the meat for them, but for me, yeah. Okay, <laughs> until the next time. 73s from the city of Rotterdam. Papa Alpha 1, Lima Echo Golf. And a very good morning. This is Personal John from the city of Rotterdam here in the Netherlands. And uh, if you give me your call sign one more time, I'll give you more accurate radio report on the next over. Over. Yeah, good morning, John. Uh, we have uh, spoke here uh, before, but nice to meet you again. The name is also John Juliet Oscar Hotel November. And the call is Mike Six Whiskey Yankee Denmark. Go ahead, John. Yeah, fine business. If you don't mind, John, I'm making a small video for YouTube over my new SWR power meter. Do you mind if I use your audio? Absolutely not, John. 
That's fine. I'll give you a quick radio report, John, then I'm going to have to go, my friend, uh, and it is very quiet on the bands. You're in Sarosadam, 5 dB over 9, slightly quiet audio, but I can understand everything you're saying. Go over. Yeah, well, you're absolutely right, mate. What's this way? Uh, and uh, very strong going into northern UK. Location would be a place called Ontario. One of the top side of Ontario, a place called Ontario. About 20 miles north of Manchester, over. Yeah, well, you're, you're in a good place if you're somewhere near Manchester, John, uh, that's for sure. Listen, my friend, I won't hold it. Uh, I'll wish you 73s, and next time I'll speak with you a little bit longer. From Papa Alpha One, Lee Echo Golf, wish you a very nice day, John, and 73s. Yeah, nice day, John. yeah bye bye. So we're in the shack, we've got the radio on uh, 40 metres, 100% uh, RF power switched on. We'll do this test without the amplifier. So we turn the meter on, lights up nicely, and we have the uh, night display. So we can see here, it automatically starts on the 15 watt. It automatically senses how much power is going in, and you'll see when I press the uh, PTT, it'll go to 150. When I put the amplifier on, it'll sense it and then go to the 1500 scale. So we have, this is a maximum PEP and this is the instant PPP. So this is what's happening as we see it. And this is just, uh, just the maximum where it holds it for a couple of seconds. And we have a SWR meter which uh, lights up green, then we got uh, it goes orange, and when it goes to three, it bleeps to let you know the SWR is a bit too high. Still, very nice looking product. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll key the microphone, uh, Papa Alpha One Lima Echo Golf. You can see now it's gone on to the 150, and uh, even though the radio's on 100%, it's peaking 41 there. Uh, let's see if it goes uh, anywhere else and uh, SWR is quite good and then I let go of the micro let go of the PTT and it goes back to zero PTT again Papa Alpha 1 Lima Echo Golf you can see the radio is on 100% and it should be giving more than 27 watts PEP uh, that's for sure but the SWR is very easy to read as you can see and everything is very, uh, yeah, you can see everything with just a quick glance, which is what it was bought for. Uh, yeah, so at the moment, it doesn't look like it's very accurate regarding the power output. Uh, yeah, I'll try it with the amplifier and see if that uh, helps also. But uh, on the amplifier here, each little line that lights up is, uh, is 50 watts. So it's minimum 50 here, yet here it's only showing uh, 32. Yeah, very strange. Let's try with the amplifier on and see uh, what happens. Just on a side note, I uh, got a replacement boom arm, which uh, is very, very nice, very strong. This is all uh, all metal, all metal. The cable hides away in the top uh, and it just moves very, very smoothly and it just looks really, really nice. Far better than the Heil boom arms and from my personal experience, the Heil boom arm couldn't even take uh, the weight of the microphone. <laughs> so I have to, have to buy this one. In fact, this is a replacement of the one I broke doing something stupid and uh, fully recommend it. Looks looks very nice, works very nicely, and it should last many, many years. I, uh, I use an XLR cable with this microphone. So with the boom arm, I got a cable with a 90 degree hook on here. So instead of the cable coming out, the cable goes now up into the boom arm, which is not a big thing. But it just makes things look nicer, nice and tidy. And a tidy shack is an enjoyable shack, is what I say. Uh, it's actually a warm arm, 
a warm audio boom arm and uh, it looks like it's the whiskey alpha dash mexico bravo alpha model it cost me 90 euros delivered online i've seen it uh, 120 euros in a physical shop here in rotterdam a music shop so for 90 euros i thought i'd go for it make the investment and uh, it's a pleasure to use so just thought i'd pass that on to you right uh, let's carry on